everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a retro review for The Hunger Games 2012. This movie is rated PG-13 with a runtime of 2 hours and 22 minutes. A Rotten Tomato score of 84% for the critics, 81% from the audience, and an average letterbox rating of 3.6. Now, I'm doing this because I recently went to watch uh, the new Hunger Games film, uh, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Go check that out. We have a review in the channel. I'll link it in the description of this video. Uh, and it made me remember how much fun I had watching these films when when they were coming out, you know, the, which was a long time ago, over 10 years ago for this one. Uh, so I wanted to go back and rewatch them. I had a really nice uh, set that I bought. Uh, and so I had them ready to go. Uh, so, yeah, very interested to revisit this. And I hope you guys are interested to revisit this with me. Uh, in what was once North America, the capital of Panem maintains its hold over its 12 districts by forcing them each to select a boy or girl called Tributes to compete in a nationally televised event called the Hunger Games. Every citizen must watch as the youths fight to the death until only one remains. District 12 tribute Katniss Everdeen has little to rely on other than her hunting skills and sharp instincts in an arena where she must weigh survival against love. This film stars Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss we also have Liam Hemsworth as Gale. Uh, we also have Josh Hutcherson as Peter Malark. Stanley Tucci as Caesar Flickerman. Wes Bentley as Seneca Crane. Uh, Elizabeth Banks as Effie Trinket. Woody Harrelson as Hamish Aberthine. Lenny Kravitz as Cinna and Donald Sutherland as President Snow. There's a lot more people in here, but I feel, I feel like those are kind of our main characters that we're dealing with throughout the throughout this film. Um Right off the bat, I will say it was great to go back and rewatch this. This movie is so interesting. There's so many details that I had forgotten about. Uh, and boy, oh boy, Jen, I feel like, and this is probably not, this is not a hot or a new take, but these movies were only as successful as they were because of Jennifer Lawrence. Um, yeah, she's just right off the bat, so charismatic on the screen. Uh, and you just kind of want to see her fight through this world. I think that's what makes this really interesting. We have a lot of very likable characters, including like, you know, Lenny Kravitz as Cena is probably one of the best characters in this series. And as we go on, uh, you know, anybody that becomes an ally to Katniss, we know that they, they will ultimately be in danger. Um, uh, let me go through the characters. I think that'll be a fun way to talk about this film. So yeah, Jennifer Lawrence is great. Uh, her action scenes, I think, are great. Her emotions when it comes to dealing with her family stuff or, like, being picked. Even just that whole scene, that sequence of her volunteering uh, for her sister, uh, saying goodbye to her family and, and, and Gail. Uh, really, like, just very emotional stuff. And anytime she's in the arena, boy, these games, I forgot how brutal some of the sequences are on these films. Like, And I'm talking about they get very... Uh, violent they get very um like just you i can't believe that they actually managed to but i guess uh, the the premise of this of kill, killing children for you know like i can't believe that they managed to actually get this passed and get this made and approved uh but yeah it's it, it's what it's what raises the stakes um Gail, Liam Hemsworth's character, uh, I think he's very good. He has very good chemistry with Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I think you can definitely tell that they're building him up to be a very important part of this franchise, which he ultimately ends up being. Um, I don't think I'm, I don't, I guess I didn't say this, this is going to be spoilers, but like for sure, like I don't want to talk about the upcoming films much, uh, but I definitely want to mention that, you know, kind of what I'm seeing from the beginning and kind of what I'm remembering. Uh, Josh Hutcherson, I feel like he has one of the toughest tasks because he's built as this character who is almost like forgettable and meek at the beginning, but then you kind of start seeing him become a different person as he's chosen in the games and as he figures out ways to get people to root for him and, and just kind of grow as a character. Um, uh, Stanley Tucci, fantastic. Like this kind of lovable weirdo asshole that just like he's just doing his job and you can't really blame him for it but still like anybody from the capital can go fuck off um west bentley i feel like uh 
very underserved character, Seneca. You don't get to see a lot of him, but you don't get to see a lot of him, but he does have probably one of the most messed up scenes in the whole film. Uh, Donald Sutherland, fantastic in this role as like just this menacing individual. Um, Woody Harrelson, is he's always great as Hamish. I mean, God, he he's almost, I'm not going to say he's the heart of this film, but he's definitely one of the big backbones of like putting this film together. Uh, because as, as his relationship develops with both of the tributes, uh, Peter and Katniss, like you kind of see that there's so much more to this character that's been put in this position where he has to be paraded around and he has to see every year he has to meet a new batch of tributes in and they're probably going to die and and like just how emotionally devastating that is whereas elizabeth banks is a great foil for hamish because she's also in the same kind of very similar role right she's not a victor she's just somebody that works for the capital um but she also has to work with and meet and kind of build a little bit of a relationship with with uh these tributes and she also knows that they probably won't make it, but she's trying to do her best to like get them um, as ready as they can. So really interesting how to see how she just disconnects herself fully from any emotional uh, any emotional things with these with these tributes. Whereas Hamish, he's so emotionally involved because he has been there. He's been one of them that all he can do is just kind of stay drunk forever to numb that pain but he's there when it counts and i thought that was really cool so uh the games themselves are a lot of fun i think it's really cool to see like all these young i was gonna say young versions of actors that are like very cool like very uh more relevant right now but like you it's really fun to go back and see kind of where a lot of these uh this was probably the biggest role for a lot of the people that were in there right i'm thinking of people like jack quaid who's marvel uh, who's one of the one of the tributes from another district? Who's kind of an antagonist, right? They form a little gang, um, and yeah, the whole concept context itself. Uh, it's really interesting having seen um, the prequel where that was like the tenth Hunger Games. This is the seventy fourth. How much the games, the capital, like the technology has evolved? Uh, I think it's very interesting in that world. The world building is fantastic. Uh, I think the music is really good, but I feel like some of the music is going to get a lot better as the movies get on from what I remember. Um, and yeah, this film looks great. I think the district themselves are arranged in such a way where they don't all have a lot of personality yet, but I feel like when we do go to each district and we stop by and we see like everything that they have to do uh, and the conclusion of this film, man, it hits very strongly and it just kind of ends. I do wonder what would happen if we had never had sequels, like if it would be as satisfying of an ending, because I feel like, I feel like they had announced that these were all going to be a part of a series. People of course knew there were more books out there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'd be really interested in finding out. Uh, and you could let me know if you're watching this video, how, what you thought of, of the Hunger Games at the time, and if your opinion has changed now throughout the years, knowing, seeing the larger picture. So uh, we'll have reviews for some of the other films. I'm trying to get through all of them in the next couple of weeks, but there's a lot happening, a lot of videos and holidays and stuff. So we'll see. But please stay tuned. We'll definitely have a review for all the Hunger Games movies uh, sooner rather than later on the channel. Because I, I'll tell you this, as of recording this video, I have rewatched the first two for sure. So you'll definitely get at least those two. Uh, I know there's only two more, which is really uh, Mockingjay Part 1 and 2. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, go check that out. Go check out my review for uh, the new film. Uh, and, uh, and very interesting stuff. I, I, I forgot how much people love this franchise. So... Uh, if you have seen this film, if you, if you have any thoughts on this film, let me know what you thought about them down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. Uh, it is Saturday, most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.